Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, before jumping into the reduction formula, always have a quick glance to see if you can get it in uh, in the form of something being the exact derivative of another thing. So some so before you jump into the reduction formula, try to get it into this form or this form. Because if you can get into this form or this form, you will save yourself a lot of time. So have a quick glance. So looking at this, let's try and get into one of these two forms. Because if we can get into this form, it will save us a lot of time. So looking at this, let's let's try and get into this form here, so that um, the derivative, is, so that this is the derivative of of something that only involves tan. So looking at this, looking at this, we've got secant. Uh, break this up as um, secant squared. And then you've got a block of secant, and then this tan squared is this block here. So you've got your secant squared here, you've got your secant squared here. Now we need to rewrite everything in terms of tan. But the thing is, um, this is to the power of 1. If, you, if this is to the power of 2, then, then we can make use of this, and we know we can turn, it, we can turn this block into a block of tan. Um, but, but here, because it's a power of, it's just a secant of x, it's to the power of 1. Then, then we can't really we can't really turn this into a block of ten. So uh, so this so this is no good. So let's try and get into this form. So going back to the start, um, let's let's try and break this up uh, into a block of um, the secant squared, and then you've got a block of uh, secant, and break this up into a block of ten and a block of ten. So now looking at this here, you've got your derivative. You've got your derivative of secant. So you, here you've got your derivative of your secant, so that's this bit here. But then we need to rewrite everything here in terms of, we need to rewrite everything here in terms of secant. But then if you look at this here, uh, this, this is good because it's, it's a block of secant. But we need to turn this block into, uh, into a secant. But, but this is 10 to the power of 1. So we, we, need, we need this to be um, to the power of an, e, of an even number. Then we can make use of this to turn to turn this block into um, a, a block of secant. So so here we so this method is no good because we can't we can't rewrite this thing all in terms of secant. So this this is no good. So so we we've got no choice but to use a reduction formula. So going back um, going back to here going back to here we know we've got to use the reduction formula. If you look at this here, um, turn everything into a block into um, a block of secant. So, so this is 10 squared, so you've got 10 squared here. So you know you can turn this block here into a block of secant. So looking at this, you've got this block multiplying with this block. So turn this block into, um, into a block of secant. So 10 squared is given by this. 10 squared is given by this, multiplying with this. So now everything is in terms of secant. So now you can multiply this out. This times this would then be, hang on would then be, um, hang on, this times this would, would then be to the power of 5, this times this would then to be to the power of 3. So now we can use the reduction formula. So so using the reduction formula, let's let's just zoom into this. We will leave this uh, for later on. Let's just concentrate on, on doing this. So our reduction formula, Rn, Rn is 5. So so, uh, so applying the reduction formula, remember n is, uh, is 5. So re applying the reduction formula just on this, this thing here will then become will then become this whole thing here. And then you've got your minus, minus, and then the integral here, the integral here. So so let's 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 just look at this bit here. This bit here becomes this because uh, so so R n is, uh, is is five. So looking at this, you put five into here. So this thing here will be a quarter. And then uh, you put five into here. This will be secant to the power of three. And then uh, and then you've got your tan here, your tan here. And then the five goes into here. So this will be four. This will be four. The five goes into here. So this will be three. And then you've got this thing. Uh, five take away two will be three. So that's this bit here. So applying the reduction formula, that, that will then give you this. Okay, so hang on. That will then give you... Um, that will then give you this, and then, and then, uh, and then let me think, and then, and then looking at this, this is exactly the same as this. So you can merge them together. 
So that's that's like three over four take away take away one. So that would be um, that would be negative uh, negative a quarter. So that's your negative a quarter. And then uh, and then now apply the reduction formula on this again. So hang on. So applying the reduction formula on uh, on this. So that would then give us that would then give us this thing here. And then tidy tidy up. So wait there. And then uh, and then tidy this up. So uh, this times this would be this would be this block here. This times this would be uh, an eighth, and then you've got your integral here. Um, and we've done we've done this many times. So by now I'm expecting to, you to know the um, the integral of secant secant of x is this. We've seen this many times, so I'm assuming you know this. So um, so the minute you see this block, you can replace it with this. So um, so that would then give us this whole thing here. Okay.